Hey guys, I just wanted to come on tonight and show you my nighttime skincare routine. Um, normally, I don't film these type of videos because I don't think a lot of people are interested in them. But change of heart, I'm going to show y'all what I do at night. Um, I have a full face of makeup. I went out with my friends and I wanted to go ahead and get ready for bed because I'm tired. And because I have bags on my eyes, that's how tired I am. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my nighttime skin routine. This is the routine I normally do pretty much every i won't say every day because i don't wear makeup every day but when i wear a full face of makeup i try to do this every day some steps i skip some steps i don't like first the first thing i do is i use my clinic clinique take the day off um cleansing balm that's what it looks like this is awesome stuff and this is a favorite i'm gonna eventually do a favorites video of stuff because I have a lot of favorites and I'm pretty consistent with those. I don't do a whole like you know some people do monthly favorites. I don't do monthly favorites because I don't buy a whole lot of stuff now. When I first started doing YouTube videos, I did start buying stuff. Eh, I don't do that now. I don't have the time or the money to do that. I'm trying to save up. So what I do is I just emulsify it in my hands and then I rub it on. And I make sure I concentrate it on my eyes so I can get my mascara off and my eyeliner if i'm making funny faces i don't mean to this is just my face and you gotta try to make sure you get it in your hairline because you know and it's pretty good about removing makeup i try not to use too much of it but some days I have to make up on a little bit more than others. So. And that is what I look like with the bone on. Now, that's what my hands look like. What I'm going to do is rinse them off. Because I have a, a, I'm in my bathroom. So I have my, my bowl filled up with water. And what I do, because it does irritate my eyes a little bit. I take me a baby wipe. These are from Sam's Club. These are the members mark. This is what they look like. And they're just premium wipes. And I take them and I just go over my face with them. They wipe off the bone. Especially from around my eyes because it irritates my eyes a little bit. But that's because I'm rubbing it on my, um, my water line. And being that I don't wear contacts, I can do that. Because if you wear contacts, I wouldn't recommend you rubbing it that close to your, your eye. And usually I take one to two wipes, depending on how heavy my, um, depending on how heavy makeup I have on, or how much makeup I have on, is whether I, you know, do two wipes. I'm going to do two wipes tonight. Cause I forgot to take my makeup. I didn't do a very good job of taking my makeup off last night from work. When I worked yesterday, I didn't. I took off my makeup, but I didn't do a good job of it. I only used my um, my Garnier micellar water cleansing water last night and a baby wipe. What I do normally is I'll take this, put it on the wipe, and take my makeup off that way if I don't feel like using my balm. I did that last night, but I didn't follow up with the cleansing and cleansing my face. I just used that and went to bed. I was that tired. So, and this is all I do. That's the first step. Once I finish doing that, I take my brush, which is my Vanity Planet brush, my um, Spin for Perfect Skin brush. I always, it's a tongue twister for me and I need to get me a new brush head. I've already, I have it on um, auto order, but I had, I used to get them every four months, but I said I was getting them too much. I was getting them too soon because I get the packet where it has the body brush, the Puma Stone, the um, exfoliating brush, and then the soft sensitive skin brush. I used to get it every four months. I wasn't going through them that fast. So I was like, because I was changed out my brush every three, which I needed to get ready to change that one out. So I extended it out to every six months, which is perfect for me because that'll catch me up. The body brushes, the big one is huge. I'll show it to you one day. I'll do a video on it. It's really good. But this is my Spin for Perfect Skin. And the cleanser I'm going to use tonight is my e.l.f. Mineral Facial Cleanser. This is in a powder form. 
you might not be able to see it. And this is what I use at night most of the time. And it's in powder form. This this is a really good cleanser because you can mix it up to be really, really loose or really make it into a paste and make it into a mask. And it travels very well. Now, if I were to repurchase this again, it would be for, like to put in my travel, um, my travel bag. So that way when I travel, it's not affected by anything and it won't spill. It's powder. So if, if it spills out, it's not going to ruin anything in your bag. So all I do is pour a little bit. I do a couple of shakes and that's what it looks like. My, my brush is already wet. So I put it in there and I dab it and I turn it on and I pick it up and I start to work it in. If I see that it's not lathering up like I want it to, I will go back in and put more and grab some more. I don't press down very hard because I don't need to. But right now, I don't feel like I have enough on my skin, but it is getting the dirt off. It's getting the makeup and the dirt off. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit more in my hand. Just a few more shakes. Dab, dab my, my brush in here again. Pick up some. And clean my face some more. Every now and again, I'll run it across my eyes. I try not to do that because that can be too irritating. I do rub it across my lips because I do wear makeup. I do wear lipstick on me and it helps to exfoliate. And I will rub it across my eyes just a little bit. But this works really, really well. I'm going to try to make sure I get it coming down my neck a little bit because I can bring my makeup down my neck some. But that's what my brush head looks like. Nasty, huh? So that shows you all the makeup didn't come off when I did the, the balm and the wipes. So I take my, my washcloth and I wet it. And I have a, a bowl. My, my sink is full of warm, warm water. And I take my washcloth and I just kind of Gently wipe off the cleanser. Good to cleanse out my nose. And luckily I'm washing clothes. So this is what my washcloth looks like. So you can see I got most of my makeup on. And I'm not very rough with my skin. At least I try not to be. So after that, I have, this is um, my spray bottle. It's full of witch hazel. And I think maybe two or three drops of lemongrass essential oil. I don't put a whole lot of that in my, um, my witch hazel because it irritates my skin when I do. I put probably at the most three. I think I put two in here. It may, three may have accidentally got in here, but it's no more than three because I can't handle more than that. So what I do is I shake it up. And I just miss my face and I let it kind of dry a little bit or at least start to dry. I use that mostly in the morning because the lemongrass helps to wake me up. But being that I'm gonna be up for a few minutes, it, it doesn't really keep me awake, but because I am, um, let me see. It doesn't keep me awake. But in the morning times when I use it, the lemongrass and the citrus smell kind of helps wake me up a little more. But I'm tired today because I've been very busy this whole weekend. Working, doing um, doing hair, cleaning buildings, um, just being busy. So that won't keep me from awake tonight. So I do that. And lately I've been using the Nip, Fab, Nip Plus Fab Soften. It's the Kale Fix Protecting Shot. That's what it looks like. And I'm pretty much finished with this bottle because I can't even get, this is the dropper. It's a dropper. It's a very loose product. And I've been using it for, I think, since the end of July going into August or no, or either all of August, September. And now it's over. I think I got it in July and I've been using it for the past three months. Um, it's supposed to 
protect your skin. It says that you add two drops to your day or night moisturizer or serum to boost skin protection against environmental stressors. It can also be applied directly to the skin as a target concentrate. And that's how I use it. I apply it directly to my skin. And right now, because it's so little in here now, because I've used it completely up, this will be in the empties video. So you'll see it again. I'm going to have to pour this, this into my, to the palm of my hand now. But that's how it looks. And that's how much I've used. There's no more. And I rub it in my hands. And then I just press it into my face. And into my neck. And into my hairline and my forehead. And... I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been using it since probably July for three months, and I take the excess and I rub it into my hands. I love that, I'm, I'm gonna tell you now, I'm gonna give you a brief review, but you'll see it again in my empties video. I love the, it's a, this is a glass bottle, so be careful with handling, because if you drop it, it will shatter. But I love the concept of it being in a glass bottle, and the fact that it has this, this dropper. I love that. And it's a very thin liquidy product so you can pump it in and it only pull up so much and you just put those few drops in your hand it says it says about it says add two drops to your moisturizer i take where i put it down whatever i get up that's what i put in my hand because i use it directly on my skin i don't mix it in and i use that press it in it's a good product and if I, i've noticed that i'm not having as many breakouts as i normally do but I have been drinking a little more water too. But as of late, for the past probably June, I've been I haven't been working out like I should, and I haven't been drinking water like I should for the month of June. But I haven't been having crazy breakouts. I think um, right before my my menstrual cycle, um, I had one breakout, and that was because I was eating a whole bunch of chocolate. Women, you know, some women crave sweets, some women crave salt. I crave sweets. I crave chocolate when it's that time of the month. Now, what I'm getting ready to use is Confidence in, the, in a Cream Eye Cream by It Cosmetics. Y'all, if y'all haven't purchased this, y'all are sleeping on this. If you have oily skin, you may not want to get this because it's very creamy, very rich. If you have dry skin, especially around your eyes, you may want to look into that. This is awesome. I take um, my little spatula that I got with the Estee Lauder product. I wash it off when I finish with that product. That was in a previous empties video. And I kept the, the spatula to use in my in my other um, products, and it works perfectly for this. And that's what I own. and this is the spatula I use for that container only. I don't use it in any other containers. I only use it for that. I take it a little bit, and I put it on my ring finger, and I take it, and I rub it in between my two ring fingers, and then I dab it on. And, and I try to look up so I don't get a whole lot of it into my eye, because it will irritate. But I gently dab it around my eye so to keep my eye nice and moisturized and i have i have combination skin i won't say i have dry skin i'm oily in my t-zone like most people but everywhere else i'm dry and with this it keeps my eyes very moisturized i don't have any crow's feet or a whole lot of wrinkles so I love that stuff and I know it's going to, I've been using it during the summer, so I know when we're getting ready to shift into the fall here in North Carolina, so I know it's going to be awesome because I get, dry, I turn in the fall to winter, I get drier. So instead of having combination skin, I switch over to dry. During the summertime, I'm more combination to oily, but during the winter, I'm more combination to dry. So this will come in handy and I said when they have another sale at Ulta for um for a cosmetic or i get a good coupon in the mail or in my email i'm going to go back and get the face cream and one of my, one of the ladies there was saying that the cleanser is really good too and she's got oily to combination skin but she loves the cleanser and she was saying it is awesome so she's waiting to pick that waiting for that to go on sale to get that so i said i'll check out the face cream because if the face cream is anything they say the face cream is really rich and creamy so if it's anything like the eye cream I know my skin is going to look great during the fall, during this fall and winter months because I'm going to go back and pick that up because I'm going to moisturize. So, 
Next thing I use is my Clarins Multi Active Jewel. I don't speak French, so, but that's what it looks like. And I picked this up at Ulta. One of, well, actually, a friend of mine gave it to me. She got it from Ulta and it didn't work for her skin. I, I have another spatula from Estee Lauder. I get these in um, those beauty kits around the holidays. My husband goes to the mall and he picks, they, they get them every time. He comes walking to those um, department stores and they stop them and they get them and then he buys this set and these little spatulas come in. So I keep the spatulas so I can use them in other products. And what I do is I dip this in here and I dip it only in this one. And I dip out about that much. I put it on my hands. I try to make sure I use it all. I wipe the spatula off before I put it back up to clean it. And then I just rub it in my hands and rub it on my face. Rub it in. I know a lot of people are like, you shouldn't rub it on your eyes, and you're right. You should, I, I shouldn't because it'll get, you might get in there and irritate the, irritate my eyes. So I try not to do, I try to not really rub it on my eyes. But I did that time. So that's on my face. And then after that, I follow up with my Maracuja Oil by Tarte. I love this stuff. This is the best. It's expensive. The big bottle is expensive, but it is so worth the money. For um, if you use it, if you're dry, you have dry skin, use it after your facial moisturizer to lock in your skin, lock in that moisture. It works so well during the winter time. I only put it on my skin during the fall and winter months when it turns cool. Because during the summer months, I can't use it because it makes me too oily and it'll break, break me out. But I use the dropper and I get about five drops. That was about six. And I just rub it. And this one I do rub all over, even on my eyes. And I try to rub up and out. And that is it. Once I finish this, I'm going to brush my teeth. Put some Vaseline on my lips and I'm ready for bed. If you want to see an intense review on any of the items that I've used in my video, let me know. And if you like what you've seen and you want to see more like this, more skincare um, videos or makeup videos, let me know and I'll be glad to do them for you. I'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to um, rate, comment, and definitely click that subscribe button and click on those bells because being that I don't post that often, you need to stay informed. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.